Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have a strike in, in my opinion, uh, the best tier 6 vehicle at the moment. It is uh, the tier 6 American heavy tank, the M6. So uh, yeah, strike actually really enjoys the M6, I guess, going with some bounty turbo, bounty optics, and a bounty gun rammer with a, a very healthy amount of gold rounds, let's just say it like that. Those gold rounds have 243mm of penetration, which is more than enough to go through every single one of these vehicles. In this matchup, you have a 160 on the regular rounds, so, you know, it's a huge step up from the regular to the premium rounds on this one. Um, but yeah, why? Why is the M6, in my opinion, the best M6 vehicle inside the game at the moment? Well, it's because it got buffed into a completely broken state I guess it was okay before right but then Wargaming decided okay we're going to buff the entire line except for the 4029 um, which is my most painful no, no, never mind we're not gonna go into that uh, but yeah, the M6 actually got okay improved turret armor it got better accuracy it got better aim time better reload time better reverse speed it got better V range it got more HP so when you add all that together, it's it's just like they buffed all aspects of the vehicle, basically. From an okay vehicle that it was before, it just got buffed in every single area and that just made the M6 completely uh, broken in its current state. It's just, it's just too good, especially when you have people with, you know, bounty equipment going with premium consumables, most likely a very talented crew as well on this vehicle. And yeah, gonna show you over here exactly, exactly why I believe this vehicle is the best at tier 6 and why I actually think it should be after. Like, it did. change back, change it back, Wargaming. Revert, revert. Okay, anyway, Strike is going to go towards the southwest on a on this map against a lot of enemy vehicles against this onslaught of enemy vehicles but there we go we can just use that amazing dpm that you have uh to oppose the bar flight finish off the skoda t24 and cause damage to most of the vehicles over here so far i was too busy talking about the buffs i didn't talk about the stoker getting smacked the skoda getting smacked the the ds was over here as well if i'm not mistaken so yeah three vehicles destroyed already in this battle unfortunately we lost four vehicles so I guess the enemy team is doing some damage over trying to catch the turret of the T1 Heavy, not getting it unfortunately. But let's just keep on going, maybe we can get it now. Get it this time, there we go, into the turret of the T1 Heavy, going through with those lovely APCR rounds on the M6. 1,300 damage so far, and now there's a BDR G1B, the tier 5 French Heavy Tank pushing forwards. But I mean, <laughs> this is an M6, sir. This is an- and he has the stock gun on the tier 5 French vehicle, unfortunately, for them. Uh, yeah, and Strike is just going to feast, I guess. Auto-aim, drive towards the base, because you can see that everyone is dying towards that eastern area. Shutting down the BDLJ one before we go back to the base. So, yes, into this 3-minute battle so far, 2 kills, 2,000 damage, which is kind of- a good game for any tier 6 in this situation already, you know? 2000 damage is always nice to get at tier 6, putting one to the 12th. Unfortunately, the best finishes off the BDRG would be putting another one to the 12th. One more. Can we get one more with the amazing uh, reload that we have this one? Into the 12th, finishing off the dangerous tier 6 French light tank. That vehicle can actually burst down, strike. And you, you don't want to get burst d -d -d down, I guess. Biss putting one in, taking two in return. The T-3045M is pushing forwards as well. One to the T-3045M, which is now one shot, but that's the Biss on three HP. Luckily, the Biss does not go three. Finish off the MXCLC Biss on the enemy team. Now it's a 1v1 with the T-3045M over here. Can we finish it off directly? There we go. There it is. Two tank destroyers pushing towards the east against the M10, Wolverine, RBFM, and then you have the T1 Heavy and the Chaffee towards the west. So Strike deciding to go towards the base over here. First thing, you never ever want to leave your base unattended to, right? Always want to defend the base. You can't get capped. Always be around that area. Keep an eye on the minimap and just get ready to react in time. 
And there we go. Great reactions by Strike over here. Finding himself in a 1v6, actually. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a difficult one. But, you know, if there's any vehicle you want to be in, in this type of situation, it is the M6. Easily shutting down the SU-85. And now going after the IKV-103, putting one into him. Look at the IKV misses. And now... Avoiding the artillery, hopefully, my goodness, don't get hit. Then we go, the IKV is down from a 1v6 into a 1v4. And uh, I just noticed that the enemy team has two of the most annoying artillery that you can have in this game. Um, it is the FV304, fast firing, fast British tier 6 artillery, and then the most disgusting vehicle at tier 5. It is the Leather, <laughs> the tier 5 premium French artillery. Which actually didn't get the nerfs that all other artillery got, so it's kind of like old artillery in the new version of the game with all the benefits of the new artillery and all together. It's like disgusting. Chaffee is down, uh, but yeah, the left just has crazy rate of fire. FV actually hitting us for almost 200 hit points, that's not good. Can we catch this T1 Heavy over here before I can keep on uh, ranting about the left? One to the T1 Heavy, luckily hitting that hull, and not like the, the track or anything getting absorbed. Can we get another one into the turret of the T1 Heavy? There we go. FV-304 is spotted. FV-304 putting another almost 200 damage round in. This is... this is crazy, my goodness. Leaving us on 397 HP, which is not good. It is not good. That left also has heat rounds that I haven't mentioned yet, um, which can go through the M6 can do quite a bit of damage. One to the FV, what a good HE round. Finishing off the cheeky Brit SPG. But now 300 HP. And as you can see, it's just crazy rate of fire. I mean, six seconds to repair the track, right? Let's see when the shell, when the shell arrives. When it was one second. It's like, it's like a five second reload. <laughs> what? What? What is this crazy thing? Um, a bit more, I'm just exaggerating. It's like six, maybe. Um, second reload over there. But it's just ridiculous. Also, the heat round, like I said, can actually one-shot Strike over here, which is not good. It does have enough pen to go through the M6. So what is Strike going to do from a 1v6 into a 1v1 with the, the most disgusting tier 5 vehicle in the game? But, I mean, the M6 is currently a bit of a, a disgusting tier 6 vehicle. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, though. Strike against the left m6 versus the left who's going to emerge victorious over here that actually has a lot of hp as well if i'm not mistaken it's 340 yes it is so one shell is not going to be enough maybe he maybe you can try to fire a chin trying to get a low a high roll um but the left uh, also has a bit of armor so <laughs> you know if if i didn't mention it before yes it, it doesn't actually like HE rounds, you know, it can just, uh, never mind. Two shells is what we need over here. Left, M6, 1v1. What is Strike going to do over here? Slowly but surely, pushing forwards around the corner. Still have a lot of time, seven minutes is a lot of time. I'm trying to pre-fire some areas where the left might be shooting, going forwards. It's like trying to find the left, trying to get maybe spotted to see if the left is over there. Shooting at all of the bushes, a tree has fallen over here. Okay, maybe that one went through. We do, we can't tell. We can't tell. Putting another one over there, thinking maybe that first one did go through. Out of gold rounds now. Using the re regular rounds will go through the left though. It should still be pretty easy. Trying to go through another bush maybe. Another bush by bush blind fire. Bush blind fire actually going towards the bushes in the north. Doesn't seem like the left is over there, though. Where did the left go? Is that... There's the left towards the left. Towards the left. There's not going to hit. Only the track doing five damage. Who has the better reload, though? It is a strike with the better reload, even though that tier five French artillery has crazy, crazy reload time. Strike has a better reload time. And this is just an insane... M6 battle, 5,386 damage, 11 kills, winning a 1v6, and yeah, showing you exactly why this vehicle is just broken at its current state. I, I mean, I just, 
I don't understand why it needed the buffs. You know, it was okay before. Like, I didn't feel like it was weak. Maybe the turret armor buff. Maybe want that extra armor. But, uh, I mean, it was a bit much. It was a bit much. And currently, it's kind of a too good at tier 6. So, hopefully, Wargaming will notice this. They will nerf this vehicle um, soon, I guess. I really hope it's going to be soon. But, yeah, Strike. Amazing game with the M6. It's 5k damage at tier 6. Have you ever heard of that before? I haven't. Amazing stuff. GG. Well played. And yeah, let's see how amazing this game was exactly in the post-game stats. There we go. Ace Tanker. I mean, of course, for 2,173 base XP earned. A bunch of those ribbons. A pass Coochie's medal for finishing off two artillery. Both the cheeky FE-304 and the disgusting Lef. Um, the Colonel Panos medal for standing alone against one, one against five, at least five enemy vehicles, in this case six vehicles, and emerging victorious. Uh, Paul's medal for at least 10 kills, in this case 11. A steel wall for blocking the most hits on your team, at least 1000 HP of damage blocked, and taking as, like, the highest amount of hits as well. Um, blocking 1020 HP in this battle, high caliber for 5386 damage done. Top Gun for at least 6 kills, almost a, a double Top Gun over here. Almost 2 Top Guns with 11 kills. First place on everything, of course. I mean, like, if you combine all of the damage together, you can you probably reach, like, 3 fourths, maybe, of, of what Strike did. But yeah, crazy stuff over here. GG well played. 40 shells fired, 30 hit, 28 penetrated. A lot of those gold rounds were fired over here, so it does make sense that it's going to be a very high um, hit penetration rate because it is against some tier 5 and 6 vehicles. And once you have really good gold rounds, you can do a lot of damage against the same and low tier vehicles with those rounds. Um, 30 damage from distance of more than 300 meters, which is rather surprising. Only 30? Okay. 16 hits received, 3 of those penetrated, 8 did not, and 7 were artilleries like FV-34, uh, the left shells. 1,020 damage block, like we said, 5 vehicles spotted, which is surprising with uh, with an M6. Is it them after the V-range buff? I'm gonna let you decide. Um, 13 vehicles damaged, 11 destroyed, 237 damage due to the player's assistance, and with some, some capture points as well, I guess for some stat padding in that regard. 10 capture points, 3.41 kilometers traveled, in this nine minute battle. So it, it was like a very short battle as well, with so much damage, it's just crazy. And a very big loss of credits, which does make sense, even when you do a lot of damage, when you get a lot of kills. Uh, once you fire all gold, pretty much, until you run out, and you go with a, a healthy amount of gold at the start, you will be losing credits um, every single battle, almost. So it does make sense. 77,000 credits lost over here. 3,260 XP total. 574 free XP in this incredible uh, tier 6 game. Like I said, too good vehicle. Overpowered at the moment, in my opinion. I really hope this vehicle is going to get nerfed. But until then, strike. GG. Well played. Amazing game. It's just using it exactly as you should. I mean... Once you have those really good vehicles, and you have those really good players using them, you can just get crazy results like these ones. So, amazing game. GG. Well played. Awesome stuff over here. And yeah, I guess uh, this is it for this video. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the M6? Do you actually agree that it's overpowered? Do you think it's just as good as it is? Doesn't need any changes? Maybe it's actually not powerful enough, and you think it needs a buff again? Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts, your opinions, and as usual, thank you so much everyone for watching, you're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video, Tatars people, have a good one!